hy V. Score big savings at hy Deals.com. And buy 988 Lifeline. There is hope. 24-7. Call, text, or chat 988. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Here's Rob Brooks. The first true road test of the season for the third-ranked Iowa women's basketball team coming off a hard-fought 80-76 victory over top-10 Virginia Tech in Charlotte last Thursday. The Hawkeyes eye another early season challenge facing in-state rival the Northern Iowa Panthers. From a sold-out for the first time for a women's basketball game, McLeod Center in Cedar Falls, welcome to Hawkeye Women's basketball. Iowa 2-0 round out a busy week this afternoon with the third game since last Monday taking on the Panthers of you and I who have uh, had some rest. They've just played uh, one game so far this year. They were victorious at 78 to 67 over Green Bay. The Panthers outscored the Phoenix in the fourth quarter 20 to 12 and history can be made inside the McLeod Center today and that history would be Caitlin Clark becoming Iowa's all-time leading scorer surpassing uh, the outstanding Megan Gustafson who currently holds the record with 2,804. Clark needs just 16. Had 44 against Virginia Tech on Thursday, including 13 of 17 from the free throw line. Made five three-pointers, shot it 31 times. Of course, the Hawkeyes got some outstanding production off the bench and will certainly need that this afternoon as well. Maybe the most impressive thing about Caitlin Clark so far is 16 assists to just one turnover. Well, when I got to the McLeod Center uh, well before two hours before tip-off, uh, there were lines all around the arena. Fans waiting to get in. There is plenty of purple, but there is also plenty of black and gold. The first time that the University of Northern Iowa has sold out a women's basketball game. The Hawks uh, on the court, warming up the basket to our left in their road uniforms. The Panthers to our right. When we come back, we will get the pregame comments from head coach Lisa Bluter and Tiffany Reedy alongside her keys to a Hawkeye victory all before tip. You join us this afternoon on the Hawkeye Radio Network. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Save to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. 
Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Welcome back to the McLeod Center, Cedar Falls, as we get set for Iowa and the Northern Iowa Panthers. And Coach Bluter here on the pregame show. And uh, Coach, a terrific atmosphere, of course, um, at home last Monday in Charlotte. And we get another one here today. I think we're going to see this most places we go I, I this think year. That's a trend, right? Yeah, sellout crowds, and, and that's the way it should be. Uh, women's basketball has come so far, and we're excited to keep uh, keep growing this game and keep uh, getting fans excited to come to our games. Defensively, through the first couple of games, uh, where do you see this team? You know, um, we faced some different things. You know, our first opponent wasn't very strong. Second opponent was, um, you know, obviously great three-point shooter, and we, I thought, made really good adjustments, and I thought we did a good job on their center. So, I mean, really, um, we've let up a few too many threes, but other than that, I think we're doing okay. Bench uh, plays so key, and uh, you've got some depth. Uh, Sydney, her performance, and uh, what Kylie was able to do last Thursday, spectacular. Yeah, both of them really brought a spark to our team. Uh, you know, Sid with those 14 rebounds. I mean, she had about a third of our team rebounds, which is amazing. And Kylie had a really nice spurt at the end of the third quarter that I thought um, really gave us some momentum going into that fourth quarter. But yeah, I think we have more like people you haven't seen even yet that can really come in and do things like Taylor and uh, Addison. I, I think that you know you're going to see more depth even in the future what about the lineup to start today tonight we're going to go with our little sh our short lineup uh, again with Hannah at the five and Kate at the four so that will be our lineup today uh, and a lot of that is because you know with you and I being a kind of a five out team and their center coming out to shoot threes we're going to use our agility at that spot back with more from coach Bluter after the break this is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced whole home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. Well, of course, the Northern Iowa Panthers, um, 10 players from the state of Iowa, preseason pick for the Missouri Valley Conference uh, Championships, Grace Buffelli, uh, player of the year, uh, another team that has a pretty good inside-outside combination. Definitely. This is a team that shoots very well from threes. In fact, that's going to be one of our keys is don't give up open threes. You know, last year they made almost nine threes a game. First game out this year, they made 11 threes. So we got to make sure, you know, Maya McDermott, Emerson Green, Kaya Lobi can all make threes. And we got to get on them. And even their centers shoot threes. So uh, I think taking away that, that high percentage three is a, definitely a key to win. And um, 
McDermott uh, is a player that likes to get to the rim as well. She does. She gets to the rim. She draws fouls. Uh, she especially gets to the rim in transition. And so uh, we definitely have to have our transition defense as a key as well. Well, what's important to the Hawks other than that transition defense? Well, uh, for us, it's a uh, you know, ball screen defense. They do set a lot of handoffs, ball screens. For us, I really think we need to push on them. Again, I think we play at a really fast tempo that maybe other people aren't used to playing it. Maybe they can hang the first quarter, second quarter, but by the second half, they usually wear down. And then I think we need to set a lot of ball screens and make them work on defense. I don't want... I want to be up-tempo, but I don't want to take bad up-tempo shots. I want to understand the difference between the two. What have you seen out of uh, Northern Iowa from a defensive standpoint? Well, they've only had one game so far this year against Wisconsin Green Bay here at home, which they won by about 15. Uh, they've been all player-to-player -player team, um, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a little boxing one today. Okay, Coach. Uh, yeah, what's well, about time for that, yeah, isn't it? it uh, is. Well, good luck to the Hawks. Thanks, Rob. That's head coach Lisa Bluter on the pregame show. Back with more after the break from Cedar Falls. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. When passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Did you know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. The Hawks at 2-0, and, oh, and the Northern Iowa Panthers 1-0, and, oh, and they've uh, had some rests this week. Defeated uh, Green Bay earlier in the week 78-67. Just about ready for the starting lineup. Smiley's Cupcakes is proudly serving their cookies and treats inside Kinnick Stadium and also Carver Hawkeye Arena for a taste of unique flavors you'll love. Stop by their downtown Iowa City location for homemade cupcakes, cookies, Cakes, bars, and coffee drinks. Molly's Cupcakes is a proud supporter of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Also, Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels, the Homewood Suites and the Home Two Suites by Hilton. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. We'll get to Tiffany's keys to a Hawkeye victory and also the starting lineups as we await this afternoon's national anthem.
And you can see that this crowd is ready to roll for the Hawkeyes and the Panthers. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You are listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited, Iowa's official bowl tour is proud to announce the Hawkeyes have been bowl eligible for a few weeks, uh, picking up victory number eight yesterday against Rutgers. Travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited is Iowa's leader for game tickets, air travel, and hotel. Sign up to automatically receive official bowl travel information at HawkeyeSports.com slash Bowl Central. Tiffany, keys to today's okay. game. Try to get to 3-0. and Yes, of course, always. But, Rob, we are obviously are again witnessing history today, sitting in a sold-out McLeod Center, a first for the UNI women's program. 30 years ago today, I was a ball girl for a then-struggling UNI team, and on that bench was an assistant coach named Tony DiCecco. When he took over as the head coach in 98, he not only turned this squad around, but he established a team that is always well-coached and stocked with solid local at athletes. Tanya Warren has obviously continued that tradition, and this year's team returns very strong starters, including preseason NBC Player of the Year, Grace Babelli. To put it simply, they have nothing to lose today. They're on their home court in an electric environment. That's a fun position to be in. The Hawks cannot come in here thinking, downplaying this team in any way, and as we've seen in the past, you often see players for, for you and I go to town, elevate their game. Our defense cannot allow that to happen. They can't let them gain momentum and establish control. Another key to success today is we need to clean it up a little bit offensively. Against Virginia Tech, we didn't shoot the greatest. There were some missed bunnies. We struggled behind the three-point line, making just six of 26 of our shots. I would love to see some great shooting today. A great opportunity for Gabby to get on the scoreboard on the season, for Sydney and Falter to turn, turn on her offense along with their great rebounding. And of course, the whole world cannot get enough of Caitlin's logo threes. Again, as always, in this environment, take it in, have fun, playing in front of a pool, full house. This is all about Iowa, an in-state rival, carrying on the tradition that Iowa, the state of Iowa has for women's basketball. So they need to have fun. Well said, 29th meeting between Iowa and you and I. The Hawkeyes have won 25 of those and three in a row. As Coach Bluter told you in the pregame show, Iowa will go with a smaller lineup as they did against Virginia Tech on Thursday. That means Kate Martin, Hannah Stalky, Gabby Marshall, Molly Davis, and of course, Caitlin Clark. For the Panthers, under Tanya Warren, she is already in her 16th year, has won 307 games against 210 losses. Maya McDermott, 5'6 junior from Johnston, will be joined by Kaylin Morgan, 5'10 senior out of Iowa City West High School. Kayla Lauby, 5'9 junior, Marion High School outstanding three-point shooter. And Emerson Green will get the start. Of course, the sister of AJ, her father Kyle, an assistant coach at Iowa State, was a longtime assistant for Ben Jacobson here at UNI. She's a 5'10 junior. And then in the middle, Grace Buffelli, a 6'1 junior. Of course, Shatia Wettering, who played three years at Iowa, transferred up to Northern Iowa, did start the game against Green Bay and expected to come off the bench this afternoon. Today's opening tip is brought to you by Farmer State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit, requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. Well, everybody is on their feet in anticipation of the Hawkeyes and the Panthers. The first of three in-state games for Iowa. Drake is actually playing Iowa State today. And the Bulldogs will be inside Carver Hawkeye Arena in a week. Buffelli. 
And Hannah Stalky will jump. The big UNI Panther logo at center court. We were ready. <laughs> and now making sure everything is operational at the scorer's table. This is the second time this has happened to the Hawkeyes this year. Monday night they had some technical difficulties coming out of the gate. Grace Buffelli out of North Scott High School had a terrific career there. The ball is in the air and Hannah Stalky wins the tap and it's in the hands of Molly Davis. The Hawkeyes right to left in front of us. Just underway from the McLeod Center. Inside Stalky on the left block. Drives the paint, kicks it back out to Molly Davis. Misfires from three-point range off the right side of the rim as you and I gets the rebound. Hustles down court. They like to play fast, as do the Hawkeyes. Here's McDermott in between the circles. Angles left side. Floats a pass inside to Buffelli. She tries to go up and has it swatted away by Stalky, but she gets it back. Another opportunity for Maya McDermott as she... Misses the floater from about 10 feet. Hawkeyes look to run. Stalky the catch underneath the hoop. Layup and the Hawkeyes strike first. Two to nothing. That's that transition game we saw early against uh, Virginia Tech and Charlotte on Thursday. Hawks two to nothing. Here's a three-point shot. Caitlin Morgan from the right wing. No good. Rebound taken down by Molly Davis across the timeline. Here's Caitlin Clark. Wheels to the left side. And a hand check will be called on Caitlin Morgan. Again, I think uh, we saw it in the Virginia Tech game. That sort of penetration, pushing the ball to the hoop early is the way to go. Hawks win bounds the ball. Clark gets it to Stalky. Now back to Caitlin on the left wing. She dribbles it out behind the arc and will fire a deep three-pointer. No good off the back of the iron. Oh. But Kate Martin gets the rebound, trying to save her from going out of bounds, but into the hands of Morgan. She hesitates, drives down the right side of the lane, floats it up. No good. A little bit of a wild shot. Clark was there defensively. Hawks look to run. Get it to Kate Martin down on the right block. Layup off the window. Good. She muscles it in. Up strong by Kate Martin who has played in 126 games for the Hawkeyes. Four to nothing, Iowa. Buffelli twists in the paint. Left-handed layup is up and good off Hannah Stokey. Hannah Stokey played some great defense there. Grace Buffelli had a, a solid move, solid footwork to the hoop. And she's got a lot of moves. Very comfortable with the basketball 15 to 20 feet away. Four to two, Hawkeyes. Iowa with the ball. Here's Marshall, free throw line extended left. Gets into the paint. Floater is up and no good. Gets her own rebound. Up and oh! under move is good. I think that's her first point of the season. Or first couple, maybe. That has to feel good to start out strong with a pretty cool shot, too. Emerson Green drives down the left side of the paint. Martin was there defensively. Clark gets the rebound. Races into the front court. She's immediately double teamed. Lauby with quick hands. And Clark gets it away to Martin. Circles the ball to Gabby Marshall. Three-pointer no. Rebound. Stucky goes up strong. Out the basket. She came to play today. The leaping ability of Hannah Stalky just reached over Grace Buffelli to get the rebound and is able to score. The athleticism and the strength that she has, those two things combined are deadly. So a good start for the Hawkeyes. As they go up 8-2 to two with 7.17 left to go in the first quarter. First time out in quarter number one. We will take a break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, You'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. 
For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hey, Hawkeyes, while you're hard at work in class or on the court, there's a team behind the scenes making sure that the power keeps going, the water keeps flowing, and the temps inside are just right. Introducing the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. The collaborative is a public-private partnership between UI, NG, and Meridium. It delivers the funds UI needs to drive our academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Check it out at uiowaenergycollaborative.com. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye women's basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Tiffany Reedy, back inside the McLeod Center, Cedar Falls, 717 left to go. In the first quarter, Iowa 8, and the Northern Iowa Panthers 2. And that's four from Stalky, two from Kate Martin, and a bucket on a putback by Gabby Marshall. Buffelli is the only two points for the Hawkeyes. Iowa 0 for 3 from 3 so far. The Panthers 0 for 1. So Hannah Stalky had the rebound, putback, and was fouled, so she will be at the line to try to complete the three-point play where she has done a terrific job this year from the free throw line, worked really hard on that in the offseason, and knocks down her first attempt. She has five. Remember, she had 12 against Virginia Tech and didn't play a whole lot because of foul trouble. Yeah, she got in foul trouble both halves and, and sat a good chunk of the game. Here's a 17-foot jump shot straight away by Buffelli. No good. Kaba Lauby gets the rebound and gets it back up to Maya McDermott in between the circles. Gabby Marshall comes out on her, trying to create some space. Now gets it to Shatia Wettering into the game. And somebody lost their shoe. Buffelli drives down the left side of the lane. Hannah Stalky goes up and commits the foul. That's her first and the team's first. Molly Davis lost her left shoe but gets it back. <laughs> Whoops. She's got it back on, though. Coming to sit down, but this um, this matchup between Hannah Stolke and Grace Buffelli is going to be a fun one today. You can tell they're kind of ready to go at it and uh, both solid athletes. Yeah, neither one uh, going to back down, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Buffelli's free throw rolls around and comes off the front of the rim no good. Today's game is brought to you by Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Buffelli, right-handed shot is perfect. She has three. Sharon Goodman in for the first time for Hannah Stolke. She'll sit down with five. Nine to three. Hawkeyes on top. 644 left to go. First quarter. First of three in-state games for the Hawkeyes. Here's Caitlin Clark. A layup from the right wing. Terrific pass on the backdoor cut by Sydney Folter. Excellent set of eyes there by Sydney, finding her, leading her perfectly for the layup. 11 to 3. Here's Buffelli backing in against Sharon. Goodman goes up strong with the left hand. You can see that determination in her eyes. She is going to take it to the hoop and look to score every time. Panthers leading scorer and rebounder from last year. Clark tees up a three-pointer left wing right in the face of Emerson Green. Caitlin Clark with five. Remember, she needs 16 to become the all-time leading scorer at the University of Iowa. Here's McDermott on the right wing. Gives it to Green. She drives paint, pulls up 13, no good. Rebound Kate Martin. 14 to 5 in favor of the Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball. Cross court pass, Gabby Marshall for three. Yes. Count it. Yes. Love to see her with the three point shot. She's back in the game, ladies and gentlemen. 
Five for Gabby Marshall. McDermott pulls up straight away from 17. No. A Fulter. The rebound. She had 14 last time out. Clark whips a pass. Marshall three. Back iron. No. Missed it from the left wing. Buffelli the rebound. 17 to 5 in favor of the Hawkeyes. Panthers with the basketball first quarter action. Here's Buffelli. Drives left wing. And a whistle as she was about 10 feet away from the hoop. Again, the Hawkeyes defense need to sort, needs to sort of adjust to Buffelli. She is going to catch that ball and drive to the hoop, and they need to be ready for that every time. That'll go against Sharon Goodman. That's her first. And she'll sit down. Panthers basketball. Riley Wright out of Marion High School into the game. Gets it to Wharton, who drives down the left side of the lane. And she has it taken away. Clark across the timeline into the front court, 17 to 5. Hawkeyes were under five first quarter. Marshall for three left wing. A little bit strong off the right side of the rim. The ball goes out of bounds over to you and I. Gabby Marshall, one for three from three. She's got to keep shooting. She's Shooters wide have open. Shooters got to shoot, of course. The defense leaving her to help on Clark. Here's Buffelli. Beautiful shot. Back to the basket. Turnaround jumper from 10 off Annie O'Grady into the game. Hawks making sure to rotate that pivot so they don't get into foul trouble. Here's Clark along the baseline left side. Hawks by 10. Inside, O'Grady goes up with the left hand. And she is fouled by the Panthers. I think Addie O'Grady was so open on that that it almost shocked her. <laughs> and realized she was wide open, had the ball to the hoop. Shakia Wettering, the foul. <laughs> Molly Davis back in for Caitlin Clark. Caitlin sits down with five. O'Grady's free throw gets it to go. Bounced on the rim a couple of times and dropped through. Addie did not play against Virginia Tech. Second free throw, a little bit strong. Martin goes after the rebound and tips it to a Folter. Boy, no surprise Hustle. she comes up with it. Hustle. Now back out to Molly Davis. Hawkeyes will reset on top, 18 to 7. Molly drives down the right side of the lane. Contact on her way up, and a foul will be called on you and I. Molly Davis does such a good job of getting that contact, creating contact, though she's pretty tiny out there. I get a little nervous sometimes when she gets knocked to the floor. And she it was okay now. Grace Buffelli that knocked her to the floor. And Grace will pick up her first. That's the team's second. Okay, so. Substituting freely here in the first quarter. Kylie Fierbach comes in for the first time. Molly Davis at the line, gets two, sinks the first one. Second one by Davis. Swishes it, and the Hawks go up 20 to 7. Approaching four minutes left to go in quarter number one. Here's Shatia Wettering. Sydney Fulter on her. Now gets it to Rachel. Hytilla into the game as a jumper is missed from the left wing and the rebound taken down by Marshall. Hands it to Kylie Fuerbach. Now a Fulter from the left wing drives in, lost control of it. Dug up by Riley Wright and trying to get it in the corner to Green. And then the trailing defense by Kylie Fuerbach knocked it out of bounds. She just uh, got that right hand on it enough to knock it along the baseline. Yep, sort of disrupt that play again. So Green will throw it in right in front of the Iowa bench. Hawks on top, 20 to 7. 335 left to go in the first. Here's Hytilla, the high post area. She's 6'3". And now a turnover on the left side of the court. Interception by Clark. Clark across the timeline, angles left side. McDermott on her. Now gets it to O'Grady. Now right back to Clark. Three-pointer is short. 
McDermott was there defensively as Clark kind of forced that one a little bit from the left wing. Here's Wettering into the front court. Hands it off to Hytilla. Hytilla, top of the key, drops it inside to Green. Missed the left-handed layup. Clark the rebound across the timeline. Caitlin Clark weaves her way in between the circles. Now right side, Kylie Fierbach for three. No. Rebound hustled down by Riley Wright. She brings it across the timeline. Takes it all the way in. Left-handed layup is good against Clark. That was a great take. Hawks have an opportunity to sort of slow it down, maintain control of the game. Hawks by 11, 20 to 9, 235 left to go in the first. Davis loses control of the ball. She tried to put it on the floor. Wright digs it up. She spins in the paint and shuffled her feet. Great defense by Sydney Falter. Sydney did a great job down on the right block. Got good position and made Wright turn it over. She was going to kick it back out to Shatia Wettering. So the turnover gives it to the Hawkeyes. Clark across the timeline. Hands it off to Davis. And it was batted away by Riley Wright. And then touched last by Clark. UNI basketball. Riley Wright has come in and done an exceptional job at the defensive end. Yeah, I mean, she's tipping the ball. And the last two plays on Hawkeye offense have been turnovers. So they need to get a defensive stop here and then gather themselves on offense. Hytilla at the high post area gets it to Green. She faces up. Can't connect on the 10-footer. Rebound to Folter. Ahead to Clark in the front court. She's at the free throw line. Tried to drop a pass inside. There's Riley Wright again to intercept. Gets it to Taryn Wharton, who plays a lot like Maya McDermott. And a foul, a hold, we call it on Kylie Fierbach. Kate Martin back for Sydney Falter. 20 to 9 in favor of the Hawkeyes. 146 first quarter. Green gets it in. Here's Wharton in between the circles. Hands to Wettering. Now back to Wharton. Gets a screen. Pull up from 15 left wing. It's blocked by Eddie O'Grady. Into the hands of Caitlin Clark. Racing down the right side. Cross court pass, Kate Martin. Ball fake. Now into the corner, Davis. Pump fake. Now back to Martin. She drives right side, spins, middle of the paint. Blocked away by Shatia Wettering. And right back to Martin. And she's tied up by two UNI Panthers. Ball possession to UNI. That was great defense by the Panthers. I think Kate could have taken another dribble, got maybe a, a layup, a higher percentage shot. Again, Hawks having a hard time kind of getting things going right now on offense. 20 to 9 in favor of the Hawkeyes. 119 left to go first quarter. Wharton will drop it into the front court to Wettering. Now back to Hytilla on the left block. And she goes up strong and a Hawkeye whistle. That'll go against Andy O'Grady. So Rachel Hytilla who had six against Green Bay, will be at the free throw line to shoot a pair. Marshall back for Fierbach. It is interesting. You noted earlier, Rob, they definitely, the Hawkeyes are definitely shuffling girls in and out. Lots of different rotations already in the first quarter. Attila missed the first. Takes four dribbles, spins the ball, right hand shot is perfect. Iowa has been scoreless in the last three minutes. Hawks by 10, 20, 2, 10. Let's see if Iowa can change that. Here's Clark along the baseline. She's doubled, gets it back out front. Three pointer is up and no good by Molly Davis. The ball caroms off the right side of the rim and out of bounds along the baseline. Panther basketball. Wharton playing a lot for you and I gets it to green she penetrates the paint up and under scoop shot no Martin goes high to get the rebound now pushes the ball ahead to Marshall Marshall keeps that dribble going now hands it to Clark on the right side Iowa by 10 
20 to shoot. Cross court pass, Kate Martin for three. Short off the left side of the rim. Weak side rebound to Riley Wright. Wright brings it across the timeline. Sophomore from Marion, Iowa. And the Panthers can hold for the final shot of the first quarter with 15 seconds. Attila now back to Riley right on the left wing. Drives toward the baseline and a foul will be called on Kate Martin as she bumped Riley right. That is not the foul you want with 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Um, just a bummer on that one. Taylor McCabe will come in. Haven't seen her since the FDU last Monday. Marshall will sit down with five points and Riley Wright will get free throws. Set up the best zone defense from home. Heating costs this winter. Shoot up your furnace. Seal up drafts around your home and visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy. One out of two from Wright at the free throw line. And then a line violation anyway against you and I with 10 seconds left to go. Hawks will have it. But will have to go the full length of the floor. Up 9, 20 to 11. Clark gets it in to Martin. Now back to Caitlin. Wharton on her. Crosses the timeline. Left side. Now bounce pass back to Kate Martin for three. Short. Two seconds. And that'll do it. That brings the first quarter to a close from the McLeod Center. Iowa 20, the UNI Panthers 11. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Our mission at Oaknall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn and we're proud of it because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. At U.S. Cellular, we believe in having healthy relationships with our phones so we can have better relationships with each other. Introducing Us Mode, a way to set your phone for less distraction and deeper connection. So dinner can sound less like this and more like this. What'd you learn today? The sauropod was the tallest dinosaur ever. Oh, oh my goodness. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online, and we'll help set your phone to us mode, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, the 5G network built for us. See uscellular.com for details. Welcome back courtside. The Cloud Center, Cedar Falls, as the Hawkeyes of the Panthers... 10 minutes into this one, and it's Iowa 20, and you and I 11. Hawkeyes just 2 out of 12 from the three-point range have had several open looks, just have not been able to knock them down. Yeah, some really great looks, actually, and some really great ball movement on the offensive side of things, but just not able to connect. They actually went scoreless for the last four minutes of that quarter and just weren't able to kind of get in their offensive groove. If I were Coach Buda right now talking to the team, I might tell them, drive to the hoop, let's go for the layups, let's look to get fouls, and then slowly kind of work our way out on the three-point shot. And that was really what was so beneficial to the Hawkeyes, especially in the first and second quarters against uh, Virginia Tech, was that ability to drive, and, you know, Caitlin Clark's getting double team. This is... Uh, Kind of the first time we've seen that this year, but certainly uh, anticipated by Coach Butter going into this game. Correct, and and again, when you when you penetrate to the hoop, your defense has to decide how to play Caitlin Clark, right? And so that often leaves wide open layups for the other players on the court. 
Hawkeye basketball to start the second quarter. Hannah Stalky back in there. It's the starting five for the Hawkeyes, and she immediately touches the ball eight feet from the basket and is fouled. That'll go against Grace Buffelli, her second. So we'll see what Tanya Warren wants to do. And Attila will come back into the game. So Buffelli on the bench and off the inbounds play. Down on the left block is Anna Stalky with an easy layup. She muscles it up there. Just really gathers her body nicely, goes up strong. 22 to 11, Iowa. Wettering down the right side, a little bit strong with the right handed layup. Weak side rebound to Hannah Stalky. Pushes the ball to Caitlin Clark across the timeline. Caitlin brings it in between the circles. Feeds to McCabe, left wing. Fox looking for a three point shooter. See if uh, McCabe can fit the bill. Here's Stalky. Twists and turns in the paint. Left handed layup is short. You and I was there defensively. Green gets the rebound, brings it herself across the timeline, uses a screen, and a foul will be called against McCabe, trying to fight through that yeah. screen. I don't know, maybe she needed to take, take one more tiny step forward, but that could have gone either way. Now, if we were playing Virginia Tech, they would have called an offensive foul because they were offensive foul happy in that game. Atilla was out there setting that screen ball possession for you and I Atilla gets it inside the wettering she tried to make a move lost control of the ball gets it back left-handed shot paint no rebound by right no wettering flies in there and a whistle underneath that sequence felt like the Hawks kept getting a little tip on everything and then a you and I player would come and try to grab it I'm not sure where we ended up Hawkeye ball okay Wettering will be charged with her second personal. So that's two on Wettering, two on Buffelli for you and I. 22-11, Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball. 8.44 left to go, second quarter. Molly Davis angles right side against McDermott. Back in the game, now drives the right side. Gets it to... Hannah Stalky, who didn't even try to make a move, yeah, just tried to it back out. get a pass to McCabe and is going to be called for the offensive foul. That's her second. Huh. That was an interesting call, but I'm sure down there there's a different vantage point, but that didn't look like much to me. So Hannah with seven points will sit down. Sharon Goodman back in the ballgame for the Hawkeyes. Panthers at the front court. McDermott in between the circles. Fires a three, top of the key, and swishes it. Clark across the timeline quickly for the Hawkeyes and makes a move to the right side and is bumped. Yeah, and what I liked about that is the Hawkeyes inbounded the ball fast, pushed it down fast, and they need to keep doing that, just kind of pushing the ball, not let you and I get set up in their defense. Lauby picks up her first. Marshall back into the game. Here's Clark at the free throw line. Hawks get it inbounds. Now Clark all the way to the basket and a whistle before she got there. And the fouls continue to mount for you and I. It's not exactly the most glamorous basketball to watch, but it works. It's effective. You get you and I into foul trouble. You sit some players out. That's what in-state games are all about, oh, right? Yeah. And oh. traveling on Clark. As she tried to go from the right to the left side. And that's a rare turnover this year by Caitlin that's Clark. Number two, I think. Here's Green, top of the key for you and I, racing down the left side, and a foul will be called on Molly Davis. Molly Davis got about a half a second behind on that and then sort of reached at the last minute to get that foul. 22-14, Hawkeyes. Green will be at the free throw line. She'll get a pair with 7.59 left to go in the second. Makes the first. Emerson Green, 5'10", junior. Her first point this afternoon. Watch 
Right-handed shot is up and strong. Goodman the rebound. Gets it to Clark across the timeline. Now in between the circles against Wright. Bounce pass to Martin now in the corner. Molly Davis holds the ball. Now dribbles with the right hand out to the high post area. Feeds right side Martin. Rolls a bounce pass inside to Sharon Goodman who goes up strong. And is going to be called for traveling before she made that move on the right block. I didn't have a, a view to that, Rob. What do you think? Was that, a, was that an accurate call up here to sh kind of shuffle the foot? Yeah. Yeah, I think you could probably make the call. 22-15, Hawkeyes. You and I with the basketball. McDermott across the timeline. Second quarter action from the McLeod Center. Here's Cable Lobby, free throw line extended left. Gives it back to McDermott. Marshall comes out on her. McDermott in between the circles, pushes a pass to the left side. Here is Lauby all the way to the rim. Shot no. Rebound attempt put back no good by Haytilla. Finally, Clark digs it up across the timeline. Now to Marshall. Right wing three. Swish. Got it. Really good transition offense Beautiful. by the Hawkeyes. McDermott in the paint. Scoop shot. Bounced on the iron a couple of times. Came off the right side into the hands of Clark. 25 to 15. Hawkeyes by 10. Clark is doubled on the left wing. And the whistle. It's Wharton Otter. And then Lauby has come over to help. And Wharton will pick up her first. 5-5 guard from Bellevue, Nebraska. And already the Hawkeyes will shoot free throws at the 6.55 mark. Second quarter up by 10. University of Iowa Energy Collaborative is proud to be the presenting sponsor of Hawkeye women's basketball all season long. Empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Learn more at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. One out of two from Caitlin Clark. Missed the first, made the second. She has six. Ten away from becoming Iowa's all-time leading scorer. Here's Atilla. Top of the key. Wharton, left wing, drives baseline. Kicks it right side. Green, one dribble. Long two, no. Rebound to Wharton. Back to Green. Fires a three straight away. Rims out into the hands of Caitlin Clark. Clark across the timeline. Being defended by Wharton, gets into the paint, pull up, 16-foot jump shot, no, ball out of bounds, touch last by Rachel Haytilla. Yep. And Goodman was there too, and now the referees are going to get together and say that it went off the left hand of Sharon Goodman. Hawkeyes by 11, 26-15, 6-24 second. UNI basketball. Wharton across the timeline. Keeps that right-handed dribble going. Sydney Folter comes over to greet her. Now angles left side. Now to the baseline. Green. Turnaround jumper from seven feet. No good. A Folter the rebound. Marshall into the front court. Hands it off to Caitlin Clark. Left wing. And now drives. Tries to get some contact. Goes up with a short jumper. No good. But the rebound put back on the right side is good by Sharon Goodman. Her first basket. She grabbed that ball. She kept it high. Popped it right back in. Made it look pretty easy. 28-15 Hawkeyes. Panthers with the basketball. Haytilla turns. Fires a three-pointer. No good. Ball tapped around. Back to Lauby. She fires a deep three. No. Off the back of the bracket into the hands of Kate Martin. Now in the front court, here's Clark on the left side. 5.30 left to go. Hawks on top, 28-15. Clark weaves her way in. Now kicks it out to Kate Martin for three. Short with the three-pointer from the right wing. Wharton, the rebound, brings it herself into the front court. Hesitates, kicks it left side to Green. Green, a short pass to Haytilla. Now she puts it on the floor, goes all the way to the bucket. Shot, no. Foul, Goodman. Yeah, Goodman got behind on that one and just sort of slapped her. That was that was not the best defensive play. And she knew it. I, I heard her mouth. I'm sorry. She knew it. She just got behind. But two players, post players for you and I, the starter, Buffelli, the backup, hey, Tilla, do a really good job of getting the ball on the perimeter. They do. Pretty good, quick first step and want to go to the rim. Yeah, I mean, I was playing a pretty solid man-to-man -man defense, and those two are definitely the deadliest in terms of getting that ball and quickly getting to the hoop. 
So Rachel Haytilla, six foot three at the free throw line, rattles around and spins out. Missed the first of two. Second one in the air and in the hoop. She has two free throws for her two points. 28-16. Hawkeyes on top, five to go, second quarter. Clark walks the brawl across the timeline. Feeds left side, here's Fierbach. Bounce pass to Addie O'Grady now into the game at the elbow. And then dishes right side to Caitlin Clark, who lays it up and in. I like when the Hawkeyes are patient and they look for the best shot and the best pass. That's a good example of just moving the ball to get the layup. Terrific patience by Addie O'Grady. Lauby hands it off to Haytilla. And an offensive foul will be called on a screen set by Lauby. So that'll be a blocking foul on her. And for Kaba, that's her second. Timeout on the floor. As a proud sponsor, U.S. Cellular is built for the Hawkeyes. They're built for great interceptions and better reception. Watching touchdowns instead of touchscreens and waving before streaming. After all, game day only comes once a week. U.S. Cellular is built for us. Hawk fans, today's sponsor, Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield, knows your here for every fadeaway, every alley-oop, every buzzer beater, and Wellmark is here for every moment as well with trusted health coverage committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. Four and 33 left to go. Second quarter, Iowa 30, the Northern Iowa Panthers 60. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox home comfort specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye women's basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Terrific atmosphere for women's basketball from the crowd center in Cedar Falls. Iowa on an 8-1 run the last three minutes and 26 seconds, and the Northern Iowa Panthers have been getting a lot of shots, just have not been able to connect just one of their last 15. You and I, 5 of 30 from the floor, Iowa 11 of 27. The Panthers against Green Bay in their opener ended up 27 of 59 from the field, 11 of 27 from three. Really haven't shot a lot from three point range, Tiffany, just one for six so yeah. far today. Yeah, they're just, you know, what what they've been doing is driving to the hoop, but those layups, those short shots haven't been falling for them. Our guys have played physical defense, especially in the paint. Goodman has two fouls. Stalky does as well. Lauby and Buffelli, each two for... You and I, Hawkeyes 30, Panthers 16, Iowa with the basketball in the front court. Lob pass inside O'Grady, goes toward oh. the middle of the paint. Left-handed layup is good. The assist, Caitlin Clark. Beautiful footwork by Addie O'Grady, a little baby hook shot to finish. Panthers race in the front court. Here's Wharton, 
from the right wing goes into the paint. Jumper is good from eight feet. Good hard drive from the wing. And Wharton was able to knock it in from straight away. Three pointer is up and no good. Missed from the right wing. And the rebound taken down by Caitlin Morgan back into the game. And she slices toward the basket. Goes up strong and is fouled. That'll go against Caitlin Clark. Her first and to the free throw line, Caitlin Morgan. 5'10 senior from Iowa City West High School. Shot strong. Missed the first free throw. A falter. And O'Grady the inside positions in the lane. And Morgan swishes the second. Clark across the timeline for the Hawkeyes on top 32 to 19. 3.30 left to go. O'Grady left block. Gives a bounce pass along the baseline to Fearbach. Reverse layup is no good with the right hand. Wide open. Terrific execution. Just couldn't get it to go. Wharton down the left side of the lane for you and I. Lays it up and in. She's got good speed. She does, and I think you and I's game plan right now is to get the ball down as close to the hoop as possible, as fast as possible, and Iowa's been just a step or two behind here coming out of that timeout. Clark doubled on the left wing. Gets the ball reversed. Three-pointer by Marshall is no good. Rebound. A falter goes up strong with the left hand and couldn't finish, but is bumped, and a foul will be called on you and I. Again, another hustle play by Sydney at Falter. She always seems to get into the mix out there. An unbelievable job rebounding by a Falter against Virginia Tech with 14 boards at the free throw line after the Attila foul and makes the first. Sydney averaging 10 rebounds the first two games. Hawkeyes go up 33-21. Free throw no good. Nice box out along the baseline by Cabe Lauby, who tips the ball to Haytilla and gets it back and crosses the timeline. Wharton to Morgan. Now to Green on the left wing for you and I. Puts the ball on the floor a couple of times and a whistle away from the ball in the paint as Riley Wright was on the floor. And that's going to go against Sydney Fulter and bring Riley right to the free throw line. Hawkeyes 33, Panthers 21, 244 left to go until halftime. So right at the line, free throw rolls in. She has four. It's been a terrific job playing defense. I was just gonna say that. She did not get the easy assignment today. And Caitlin Clark has eight points, so she's doing her job so far. Wright makes the second free throw. She has five. Buffelli on the bench. Extended minutes for you and I with two fouls. 33-23 Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball. At the elbow, O'Grady pushes a pass to Clark. One dribble, three-pointer. Caitlin Clark, no, but is bumped. And a foul on Riley Wright, and she knew that. Mm -hmm. That's that quick jab step to the right. One dribble by Clark. Go up for three. And Wright commits the foul. Clark to the free throw line. One dribble. Caitlin knocks it in. And that arguably is, is Caitlin's biggest strength is her ability to shoot that step back three. It is difficult to defend. Second one also good. She'll get three. So now Caitlin in double figures with 10. Got to keep our tabs on this. <laughs> 13 of 17 from the line on Thursday night makes the third. That's three out of three in that sequence at the free throw line for Clark. Iowa goes up 36-23. Panthers basketball in the front court. Here's right on the right wing. Fearbach on her. Hands it off to Wharton. Wharton now up by the timeline. McCabe into the game and a screen set by Haytilla and McCabe trying to get around it commits a foul 
kind of struggling on that on ball screen today just not quite getting in the right position um, we're trying to go over the top and that's that's caused us a couple fouls here and there Wharton's first is good she has five and she's got extended minutes here in the first two quarters pushes the second one toward the basket good she has six and it's 36 25 Hawkeyes were under two second quarter as Clark walks the ball across the timeline now to a Grady high post area a falter is there as well now she has the basketball fear free throw line extended left Keeps that right-handed dribble going. Now McCabe at the top of the key. Drops it off for Caitlin Clark, and she made a hesitation move, and a hold will be called on Emerson Green. Again, not necessarily the most fun basketball to watch, but we'll take it. She's back to the free throw line. Marshall and Martin back for the Hawkeyes. So Clark with 11. Remember, she needs 16 to become Iowa's all-time leading scorer, surpassing Megan Gustafson. Davis for Fierbach. Clark, free throw, perfect. Four out of five at the line. Swishes the second. <laughs> So 13 for Caitlin Clark. A three would set the record. 38-25. 1.34 left to go. Second quarter. Green trying to make a move. Lost control of the ball and pushed it back out to Morgan. She tried to make a move in the paint. Little high-low pass, and nobody was there to receive it except Molly Davis. Davis, down court pass, O'Grady. So has it taken away right on the baseline by Riley Wright. And it's going to be UNI basketball touched wow, last by the Hawkeyes. what a hustle play by Riley Wright. Somehow UNI came up with the ball after she blocked Addison O'Grady. 38-25 Hawkeyes. They've led the entire way. You and I with the basketball. Wharton in the front court. Angles right side. Now Lauby gets it to Atilla on the left wing. Now to Morgan. She'll fire a three-pointer right side. Skipped off the left side of the rim. And Martin gets the rebound. Ahead to Caitlin Clark. Hesitates. And now drops a pass to Kate Martin. Beautiful bounce pass. Layup Kate Martin on the backdoor cut from the right wing. And if you don't like that, Rob, you don't like basketball because that is how it's done. The vision of Clark. Lauby for three, right wing no. Capable three-point shooter. Rebound down to right though, and she dribbles into the paint. Shot no. Put back attempt no good by Morgan. And the Hawkeyes will hold for the final shot as Clark gets the rebound. 40-25 Iowa. So Clark right at midcourt. Being defended by Morgan. Let's see if she can do it here. Clark to the right side, hesitates. Now penetrates at the elbow. Lob pass inside, and it's deflected away and out of bounds. Intended for Addie O'Grady to end the first half. Hawkeyes 40, and the Panthers 25, a 15-point lead for Iowa. Is your small business ready for a big promotion? To support and celebrate small businesses, United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics are teaming up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio promotions, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit HawkeyeSports.com slash UHC. United Healthcare, a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Also, throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa.
Bud Light Halftime Show up next from the McLeod Center in Cedar Falls, Iowa 40. You and I, 25. Caitlin Clark, the only player in double figures for the Hawkeyes with 13. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% .9 reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. High V, score big savings with the new High V Perks membership. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. And by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Now back to courtside. Rob Brooks and Tiffany Reedy. Back in Cedar Falls, Iowa, the McLeod Center. We are at the half, Iowa 40, and the UNI Panthers 25. Hawkeyes led at the end of 1, 22-11. Outscore UNI in quarter number two, 20-14. Tiffany, how about the individual stats? Yeah, we've got Caitlin Clark leading the way for Iowa. 13 points, just three away from that all-time record. Uh, almost half her points have come for, at the free throw line. Seven rebounds, five assists. Uh, Gabby Marshall scoring tonight, good to see. Uh, two for six behind the three-point line. Couple of rebounds under her belt. Um, Hannah Stolke with seven points and obviously got into foul trouble early and um, sat most of the quarter. Um, for you and I, they are led by Grace Buffelli, seven points, three of five from the floor, also found herself in some foul trouble, followed by a strong performance by Taryn Morton with six points and a couple of free throws. And Maya McDermott rounds out the squad with uh, three points. Uh, and I guess I shouldn't forget Wright with five points. 
and four rebounds. The Hawks are out rebounding you and I, 28 to 22. They've scored 10 second chance shots. Uh, 20 of their points has been in the paint. Uh, I would say w one area, again, that we are struggling in again for the second game is we are three, we, the Hawkeyes, are three of 16 behind that three-point line. So just can't get it going um, yet on the, on the three-pointers for today. Tough to get into any flow in the first half as well just because of the amount of fouls uh, yeah. that were called and free throw shot as Iowa was 11 out of 14 from the free throw line. You and I 10 out of 16. Hawkeyes have led the entire way. A big lead of 16 points came at the 420 mark of quarter number two. And a key thing for the Hawkeyes, Grace Buffelli played just five minutes and 56 seconds. Leading scorer, leading rebounder from a season ago. Got off to a good start offensively with seven points, but picked up two quick fouls and sat most of the first two quarters. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Halftime stats report brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free hy V Perks membership. Iowa 40, you and I 25. We're at the half. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Escape to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit iowalottery.com slash VIP. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. We are at the half, McLeod Center, Cedar Falls, Iowa 40, and you and I 25. Of course, uh, this kind of starts all the in-state games, and uh, another one going on right now at the half as well. Drake, all over Iowa State, 38 to 20. Drake, 38. Iowa State, 20 at the half. Let's check uh, top 25 scores. LSU, number one in the country until probably tomorrow. Leads Mississippi Valley State, 50-23. At the half, it is number two, UConn 43, NC State 42, Texas 33, Liberty 25. That in the third quarter. And Mississippi State leads Jacksonville State 33-21 at the end of three. DePaul and Louisville, a little bit later on. UCLA 
Bellarmine. Indiana is at Stanford. That's 9 versus 15. Davidson is at North Carolina. And some finals for you. South Carolina has just hammered Maryland. 114 to 76. South Carolina, number six in the country, over number 14, Maryland, 114-76. Ohio State, 108, IUPUI, 58, Notre Dame, 104, and JIT, 57. That's the final. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win tickets to see sold-out Iowa women's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye Gold scratch tickets today. Hawkeyes by 15, 40, 25. Both teams back out on the court. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fanofcorn. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. Buckeyes on top, 40 to 25. Over the UNI Panthers, Hawkeyes looking for victory number three. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You are listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Hawkeyes have 10 points in the paint to UNI's six. Seven check, second chance points to UNI's one. Only four points on fast breaks. Zero for UNI. One bench point for the Hawkeyes. Four for the Panthers. Third quarter action up next. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com smartertogether. Member FDIC. 
Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's green power leaderboard with 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources? Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The Hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit thehotelatkirkwood.com. Hawks get it in deep to Hannah Stokey down on the right block, and she goes up strong and is able to finish for the first basket of the third quarter. Assists to Clark, and then uh, you and I trying to make a move underneath. Ball knocked away by the Hawkeyes. Panthers will have it underneath their own basket. First possession of the third quarter, 42-25 Iowa. McDermott angles left side, fakes right, goes left. And a charge is going to be called on Maya McDermott against Gabby Marshall. It's her first, team's first, and Taryn Wharton quickly off the bench for the Panthers. Just underway, third quarter. 42-25, Hawks with the lead in the basketball. Clark walks it across the timeline. Angles left side, now pushes it to Stalky, drives down the right side of the lane, and is going to be called for traveling. As the official said that she took an extra hop before think, she went up. I don't think the coaching staff agrees with that call, and I, I'm not sure I do either. Uh, Coach Bluter just walked away and <laughs> smiled. Shook her head. One minute into... Quarter number three, here's Buffelli down the right side of the lane, contact with Stalky. And is that going to be an offensive foul on Grace Buffelli? Looks like it. Stolke really stood her ground, maintained her position, took the charge. And kind that's of three. Yeah, that was a big play. Again, you get the sense that if it wasn't for foul trouble, these two would be going head to head play by play the entire game, but Pafeli's been in foul trouble and grabbed a seat. Hey, Tilla will come in for her. Here's Davis in between the circles for the Hawkeyes. Lob pass to Martin at the elbow. Clark working hard, coming off screens. Three points away from becoming Iowa's all-time leading scorer. Drives in, goes up strong, and is fouled. She will come to the free throw line to shoot a pair as she got it in deep inside the semicircle. Hey, Tilla picks up her third, so the two pivot mm -hmm. players for you and I, both with three fouls. Yeah, Clark at the big. free throw line. Swishes the first, that's 14. To tie Megan Gustafson. She gets it. Bounced twice on the rim, fell in. 15 for Clark. That's now 2,804 points. She has tied Megan Gustafson for the all-time scoring lead in Hawkeye history. Hey, Tilla misfires a three-point shot. Here's Clark in transition. Whips a pass left side. Marshall three. Count it. She's back. She is back. She transition really offense. <laughs> Down the right side of the lane. Easy layup oh. for Wharton off the window. And she's fouled and will get a free throw. Gabby Marshall will pick it up. I was going to say, Taryn Wharton's playing with a lot of grit today. She's playing a solid job on defense right now, I think, has Clark and is doing a great job of getting to the basket. The Hawks kind of got to figure that out. And Tanya Warren will bring Grace Buffelli back in with three fouls. Free throw is up and good by Wharton. She has nine off the UNI bench. 
47-28. Two minutes in to the third quarter. Hawkeyes on top. Martin on the right wing. Now to Stalky. Clark in between the circles. Wharton on her. Clark, quick bounce pass to Davis. Now Caitlin coming off a screen. Has it. Will fire from 19. No good off the front of the iron. Buffelli with the rebound. Gets it to Wharton. Now back to Buffelli, right wing. Now Green for three, right side, got it. That's her first field goal. Marshall to answer, does so. A deep corner three for the Hawkeyes. Right back at you. Marshall with 14. 50-31, Hawkeyes. Wharton all the way to the basket, left-handed push shot, no good. Buffelli, rebound, put back, no good. Stalky the foul. That's three on Hannah Stalky, and we'll get Sharon Goodman into the game. So Hannah will sit down with nine points, had 12 against Virginia Tech. Buffelli at the line, free throws short. Just skimmed the front of the rim. 50-31, Hawkeyes, 7-9 left to go. Third quarter action from Cedar Falls. A sold-out McLeod center. Second free throw, strong. Goodman the rebound. Tosses it to Caitlin Clark, who will walk it across the timeline. In between the circles, gets a screen. Now we'll reverse to the right side, whip a pass inside to Sharon Goodman. Goes up strong in traffic and finishes off the window. What a strong and confident move by Sharon Goodman. She was determined to make that shot and did it really, really nicely. 52-31 Hawkeyes. And Tanya Warren will take time out. Panthers will talk things over after the Hawkeyes get off to a really good start here in quarter number three. A 15-0 run for Iowa. 52-31 Hawkeyes, 6-43 left to go in the third. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Did you know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. After the Panther timeout, 6.43 left to go, third quarter, Iowa 52, UNI 31. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, locally owned and operated, and voted best of the area for the 10th consecutive year, proudly supports Iowa women's basketball. Trust Dodge Street Tire for honest auto repair and the best deals on Goodyear and Toyo tires. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, celebrating over 30 good years on the corner of Dodge and Church Streets. Working together is how you win. That's why Mid-American Energy's roster of wind, solar, and other energy sources work together. 
to keep your service safe and reliable. 24-7. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. Caitlin Clark's next basket will surpass Megan Gustafson for Iowa's all-time leading scorer list. But we'll have to wait at least one <laughs> possession as you and I will have the ball along the side. Emerson Green throws it in to Shatia Wettering. Played three years at Iowa. She drives down the right side of the lane all the way to the rim. Layup good. Molly Davis across the timeline. That's Wettering's first basket. Angles left side. Drives all the way in. Scoop shot with the left hand. No, just a little bit short. Wettering the rebound. Hands it to Wharton, who will walk the ball across the timeline. Being defended by Gabby Marshall. 52-33. Approaching six minutes left to go, third quarter. A Fulter in, next dead ball. Wharton. Here's Buffelli. Drives down the right side of the lane. Has it swiped away by Kate Martin. Kate's on the move. Hands to Clark. Drives in. Shot is blocked and out of bounds along the baseline. As a oh, falter comes in. Block. Okay. I was wondering. Is yeah, her, no foul. Is her, is her record going to stand at a free throw line? But nope, not yet. So Clark throws it in, gets it to Kate Martin. Caitlin comes off a screen, gets in the paint, back to the basket, wheels, deals, shot off the window, count it, and is fouled. There's the record, as she now has 2,806 points, surpassing Megan Gustafson as Iowa's all-time leading scorer. And what a representation to have Caitlin Clark one, Megan Gustafson two, and a three-point play for Caitlin Clark. Iowa's all-time leading scorer. Congratulations to the outstanding generational talent of Caitlin Clark. Three-pointer is up and no good. Missed by Green, 55-33. Hawkeyes in command, led the entire way. And here's a steal on the left wing by Emerson Green. Gets it to Wharton. Wharton across the timeline. Marshall on her. Now Green in that same area. Pushes a pass left wing to Riley Wright, who drives into the paint, reverses her dribble, goes up with the left hand, and scores. Terrific move. Yeah, you and I is not going to give up, and they're going to keep pushing it to the hoop. Um, I'm very impressed with uh, Riley Wright today. She's a scrappy player. Oh! <laughs> and the points keep coming for Caitlin Clark. There is a three-pointer from the right wing. Hit that one in traffic as well. And you and I answers with a baseline jumper from Grace Buffelli from 15 feet. Hawkeyes quickly down the court inside to Sharon Goodman, right block. Dumps a pass off to Caitlin Clark on the weak side. Layup, two more for Iowa's all-time leading scorer. She's heating up right now, and that was a great pass by Sharon Goodman. Buffelli for three, left wing rattles out. Clark the rebound. Brings it herself across the timeline. Caitlin gets it in the corner. Gabby Marshall for three. Yes, for Gabby Marshall. Boy, how hot is she? She is on fire. I don't know if there's a sprinkler system in the in the McLeod Center tonight because she is on fire. 63-37. Hawkeyes blowing out the Panthers here in the third quarter. We're under four. Emerson Green, left wing. Drives, turnaround jumper, left wing, and air ball. Buffelli, the rebound, goes up, and Sharon Goodman, attempting to block, commits the foul. That'll be three on Sharon Goodman. With timeout on the court. Caitlin Clark now with 23 points on 6 of 13 from the floor. Iowa's all-time leading scorer. And if you're Megan Gustafson, I think you'll probably take that, won't you? Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's one one you would expect, and I, I know she's probably 
known that her record would fall, but a lot to be proud of for both careers. And, and what a time to be a Hawkeye fan and be able to witness two of these amazing players do their thing on the, on the floor for so many years. It would have been really cool if somehow they were teammates. They just, they were like ships in the night. They Thought just about missed that each other. This morning. 63-37, Hawkeyes over the Panthers. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% .9 reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Preparation is the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Hawkeyes on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Hawkeye Pride, powered locally. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Hawkeyes in command, 63-37, 338 left to go in the third. Things have uh, tightened up at the Knapp Center in Des Moines. Uh, Drake 47, Iowa State 45 with 1.25 left to go in the third quarter. Kansas State inside Carver Hawkeye Arena Thursday and Drake on Sunday. After the Sharon Goodman foul, Grace Buffelli will be at the free throw line. And a line violation so you guys know it's a has been called. Whoever's run the scoreboard. So only one shot for Buffelli, and she airballs at it, just uh, skimmed the net. So after the lane, lane violation and a missed free throw, empty possession for you and I. 63-37. Clark angles right side, drops a pass inside. Kate Martin racing along the baseline. Easy layup for Kate. What a feed by Caitlin Magical. Clark. Magical. Magical. Wharton circles around, drives down the left side of the lane. Contact. And a Hawkeye foul. I think Kate Martin and uh, Caitlin Clark are pretty good buds outside of the out off the court and I think they love when they get those opportunities to to assist each other and, and make each other the, better. The synergy. Yeah. The eye contact. Kate picks up her second foul. Ball possession for you and I. 65-37 Hawkeyes. Here's Buffelli left wing to Lauby. Right side right. Drives down the right side of the lane and Going up to block the shot is Sydney of Falter. And body contact will be called Sydney's second. Stalky will come back in. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments from state volleyball, wrestling, tennis, much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports 
Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. Riley right at the free throw line. Knocked down one out of the two. Fierbach <laughs> for three on the right wing. Wide open. Just continuing where she left off the last game. Wharton, long two, left wing, no. Ball batted up in the air. Touched last by Shatia Wettering of UNI. Hawkeye basketball. Clark will come out. Molly Davis in. Sixty-eight thirty-seven. Eddie O'Grady, Stalky, a falter. Davis and Fierbach, the five for the Hawkeyes, with a chance to be ranked number one in the country tomorrow. Here's Stalky, elbow jumper, a little bit strong. They backed off her, and she turned around and. I think she had too much time that to shot. think about it, and it just kind of threw her off a bit. You and I quickly down the court here. Shatia Wettering penetrates the lane. Left-handed shot is up and no good. Ball batted around, dug up on the baseline by Annie O'Grady. 68-37 as we approach to third quarter. Hawks on top of the basketball. Davis right wing. Hawks whip it around the outer arc. Stalky to Davis. A falter. Now inside. O'Grady back to a falter. Now Davis along the baseline. Pump fake tried to make a move. Had it knocked away. Three to shoot. And Sydney a falter will. Has it partially blocked. And that'll be a shot clock violation. It's important as, you know, we have a, a sizable lead as we wrap up the third quarter, but you still want to play clean, smart basketball. Wharton across the timeline for you and I gets it to Pfeli. She angles right side, goes all the way to the hoop, goes up strong on the right block. Addie O'Grady with the foul. Addie's got to move her feet or, or take one step back to start. We know that Pfeli's going to drive every single time. I would almost step back and let her take the shot before I give her the opportunity to drive in and, and potentially get that foul, draw that foul. Yep, you and I plays that five out offense. Yep. So the lane is wide open for the driver. And Buffelli makes the first free throw. Second one, good. Grace Buffelli had a double double against Green Bay. Preseason Valley Player of the Year, Davis into the paint, kicks it right side. Fierbach tried to get a pass inside to O'Grady, knocked away by Hatilla, and gets it to Kaba Laube, who goes up in the paint and is fouled by Hannah Stalky. But we should point out that that whole, whole play originated because of great hustle by Fierbach. She went, grabbed the ball, grabbed the steal, got it back to Addie O'Grady, who got it into Stolke. I'm going to reverse that and give the foul to Laube. So Stolke at the free throw line. A lot of contact underneath. Hannah misfired on the first free throw a little bit strong. Second one is perfect. She's got it. What an improvement at the line oh, for Hannah Stalky. Yes. 69-39. Hawkeyes cruising along here with 110 left to go third quarter. Wharton tried to make a move along the baseline, went up underneath the hoop and knocked the bottom of the backboard into the hands of Caitlin Clark, who races down court, has the ball in between the circles, knocked away, regathered. Now left side, Stalky for three. Ring that one up from the left wing. My favorite thing, seeing Hannah Stalky step out there and drain the three-pointer. She is versatile and is showing it today. Lauby tried to answer from the right wing. No good from three. And the rebound taken down by Sydney Falter. 35 seconds left to go, third quarter. Anna Stalky's second made three-pointer this year. Here's Clark on the left wing. One-handed pass to Stalky. Left wing drives, baseline contact. And a foul will be called on the Panthers. Hey, 
Atilla picks up her fourth. Gabby Marshall back for Caitlin Clark. Gabby Marshall, five out of nine from three-point range. And you had mentioned earlier, Tiffany, about Marshall. She had not scored in the first two games. Yeah. And was 0 for 9 from 3. Yep. Now 5 of 9 today. And there's got to be, with that, a great sense of relief for her because we all know she's a great shooter. Just wasn't knocking him down. And, and now it's got to be like, we are, we're here. We're going now. One out of two at the free throw line for Hannah Stalky. So she has 14. Bree Robinson. A 5'8 freshman guard from Lincoln, Nebraska, in for you and I for the first time. And a falter took it away from Robinson. And so there was some <laughs> contact, so give the foul. So today, Sydney's she's hustling, she's getting her hand on things, but they're calling, calling the game a little tight, and she's getting fouls on those. But I think she's operating correctly down low, and... Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some on that front. So two shots for Bree Robinson. Knocks down the first. Seventy-three forty. Hawks will be three and zero. Oh. What a week to start college basketball season. Robinson, two out of two. 14.5 left to go, third quarter. Clark across the timeline. Kicks it to Stalky, left wing. Hands it to a falter. Sydney at the elbow. Now to Clark. Drives baseline. Bounce pass to a wide open hand of Stalky. Missed the layup. Got it back and finished. She's not going to give up on that. She's got a smile on her face thinking, oh, missed the bunny. But she redeemed herself. <laughs> she just wanted that extra rebound. Exactly. In the stats. So what a terrific play, too, to end the third quarter as Clark had the ball in the right wing, drove baseline, paused about 10 feet away, and a bounce pass across the lane to a wide open Anastasia. Yeah, and again, Clark so many times could probably have shot that little bunny shot, but didn't, and made the better pass with the better play. It was much more fun to watch, too. So the Hawks all-time leading scorer with 23 points, 11 assists, 9 rebounds. One rebound away from, you guessed it, another <laughs> triple-double. We'll head to the fourth. Iowa 75, you and I 41. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hey, Hawkeyes, while you're hard at work in class or on the court, there's a team behind the scenes making sure that the power keeps going, the water keeps flowing, and the temps inside are just right. Introducing the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. The Collaborative is a public-private partnership between UI, NG, and Meridium. It delivers the funds UI needs to drive our academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Check it out at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. Seventy five forty one Hawkeyes over the Panthers after outscoring you and I thirty five to sixteen in that ten minute frame. Hawkeyes thirty two points in the paint now nineteen fast break points just eleven points off the bench but all five starters have scored which is certainly uh, 
a key for the Hawkeyes. Sharon Goodman with four off the bench. Cynthia Falter with four. Addie O'Grady with four. And Kylie Fierbach with three. You and I with just two assists and seven turnovers. Iowa 19 and 11. Panther basketball. Here's Robinson. Fire! Getting some action here. The freshman drives down the right side and contact underneath and we'll get an Iowa foul. That'll be Gabby Marshall, her second. Oh. So Bree Robinson from Lincoln, Nebraska, 5'8 freshman guard, drills the free throw. Ten players from the state of Iowa on UNI's roster, but Wharton from Bellevue, Nebraska. Robinson from Lincoln, just fired on the second one. Atella from Wisconsin. Clark into the front court. Being defended by Riley Wright. Drops a pass along the baseline to Martin. Hawkeyes whipping around the arc. Three-pointer for Marshall. No good left wing. And a foul will be called underneath on the rebound on Northern Iowa. I know that didn't end up in a score, but the, the sequence of the fast passing uh, was impressive there by the Hawks. Ball possession for the Hawks. Clark along the baseline. Bounce pass inside to Kate Martin. And before she could go up, a whistle. That'll go against Robinson of UNI. And Kate Martin with six points to the free throw line. Kate's first. Rolls off the front of the rim. Just a little bit short. Second one in the air, got it. A little better arch on the mm -hmm. second one. How many rebounds does Kate have? It has seven rebounds. Okay, so she's over 500 for her career. 76-42. Here's Buffelli making a move in the paint. Shot is up and no good. Anna Stalky the rebound. The handoff to Clark. Caitlin across the timeline, good speed into the paint, tries to drop it underneath to Kate Martin. She's tied up by Riley Wright. That'll be a jump ball. Hawkeyes will have the possession. Clark still sitting at nine rebounds. One minute into the fourth quarter. Pass to Marshall. Drops it inside Stalky. Left block. Lost control of it. Martin grabbed it. Went up strong and finished over Shatia Wettering on the right side. Hey, Martin also has such a great ability to just muscle it in there, right? She just grabs that board and pushes that up for the score. Robinson racing to the basket down the right side and is fouled. Boy. A lot of fouls. Today. I know. <laughs> it's really hard to for both teams to get yeah. any type of rhythm. Sharon Goodman comes in. There's been amazing plays and power plays, but when it gets peppered with all these fouls, it's sometimes hard to step back and play. Think, oh, that was a that was a fun game to watch when you're at the free throw line most of the time. Robertson sinks the first. She has four off the Panther bench. 78-43. 8.42 left to go. Second one, got it. Wharton comes back for Robinson. Right as well for you and I. Clark across the timeline, pushes the ball to Kate Martin. In between the circles, now a lob pass right side to Gabby Marshall. Morgan on her, and Marshall tried to make a move toward the baseline and is bumped by Kaylin Morgan. 
78-44, Clark will throw it in. Cable okay, will be back for the Panthers. Clark looks inside, bounce pass right wing to Marshall, inside to Goodman. She tried to bounce a pass along the baseline. Not much space. No, I like the idea, but I don't think she had quite enough space to execute. It's all right, we'll take the kick. Clark gets it to Martin, now to Clark at the free throw line. Takes a couple dribbles, and now pulls it back out on the right wing. It's closer to midcourt. Now gives it to Davis with eight to shoot. Hawks working on some situations here. Here's Molly Davis down the right side on the baseline, trying to whip a pass to Caitlin Clark. It wasn't there. Intercepted by Wharton. Gets it to right for three. No good at the right wing. And rebound taken down by Kate Martin as she surpasses 500 for her career. Yeah, just sort of walked away with the rebound on that. <laughs> just well, that's the strength, right? In. Exactly. Inside, Goodman tried to create some space, had it taken away, and then Lauby and Goodman tie each other up. And obviously the fouls reflect this, but it has been quite a physical game today. You and I, after the jump ball, possession arrow favored the Panthers. 78-44. 7.35 left to go in the fourth quarter. And here's an interception by Gabby Marshall. Gabby hands it off to Kate Martin, directs traffic. And she'll run the point guard position. That's the versatility of Kate Martin. Now here's Clark along the baseline, muscling her way in. Kicks it in the corner to Molly Davis for three. Off the back of the bracket, into the hands of Riley Wright. Wright will bring it herself. Passes... The former high school teammate, Kay Balabi, now in the corner, Shatia Wettering. That's an air ball three. Weak side rebound to Caitlin Clark. That's a triple-double for Clark on the afternoon in which she <laughs> set the Iowa scoring record. Big game for Caitlin Clark tonight, but, you know, so far, every game has been a big game for her. Davis Martin Marshall will come out. The Fulter Fierbach. McKay back in for the Hawkeyes. Iowa basketball. Lob pass inside to Caitlin Clark, and a hold will be called on Northern Iowa. Wharton. It'll be ball possession for Clark. Lob pass to a falter. Now back to Clark on the right wing. Tries to angle toward the baseline. 78-44 Iowa. Now bounce pass inside. Goodman turnaround jumper. No good. About a half a step off the block. Rebound Riley Wright. Into the front court for you and I. She dribbles back and forth on the left wing. Al gives it to Wharton. Wharton in between the circles. Angles right side. Now Lauby a deep three-pointer right wing. Strong. And Shatia Wettering gets the rebound and then loses control of it. Clark batted away and got it back from Fierbach. Clark muscles her way to the basket, goes up strong. Foul on Wharton. Not necessarily pretty, but gritty, right? Effective. <laughs> exactly. Wharton's third, 78-44 Hawkeyes, 6.15 left to go. Clark at the line for two. University of Iowa Healthcare has the game plan for your same day health care needs. If you need treatment for a common illness or a minor injury, visit one of several UI quick care or urgent care locations throughout the Iowa City Cedar Rapids corridor. Their care and expertise will help you get back in the game. UI Healthcare, proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Clark missed the first, made the second, comes out of the ball game with 24. 10 rebounds and 11 assists. Now the Hawkeyes all-time leading scorer. On the move is Haytella. In the lane, has it batted away. Into the hands of Sidney Falter. 
Left side, Davis. Cross-court pass, McCabe. Eyes a three. Got it. That's another one. I wanted her to see, to connect on the shot, so it's great that she finally stepped up and got a big shot. McCabe came on and played in the first half. Inside, Shatia wettering wheels and scores with the left hand. She moved well without the basketball. Wettering, a part of that Final Four team last year, played 15 games for the Hawkeyes. Here's Molly Davis weaving in the paint. A Fulter inside. Goodman catches underneath the hoop, lays it up and in. Sharon Goodman created that space and knew she wanted that ball. 84-46, Laube for three, right wing no. Goodman the rebound. Gets it to McCabe. Taylor will walk it across the timeline. Wharton comes out on her. Now Davis in between the circles. Coach Bluter will get a, another victory here in Cedar Falls, her alma mater. Inside Goodman. Hawks working around, back to the outside. Taylor McCabe for three, right wing, right in front of Coach Bluter, who said, yep, that's going down when it was halfway there. She's sealing the deal today. Hawks did not get off to a good start, no. three-point shooting, but now... 10 of 26 on the day. Admirable. In the corner. Atella, long two, no good. McCabe, the rebound. 418 left to go, fourth quarter, 87 46. This one has never been in doubt. Hawks lose control of the ball in between the circles, and it's dug up by Laube. Brings it into the front court, kicks it to right. Her three, no good off the left side of the iron. And Sydney, a falter, another rebound. That's eight, averaging 10. Wow. I guess that makes sense because she had 14 in the last game. And that was a career high for Sydney. She makes a move along the baseline. A little hesitation on the wing. Took it and goes up strong and is fouled by Shatia Wittering. And she got a little bit underneath the hoop on that one, but she took it up strong, so she was able to draw that contact. Timeout on the court. Hawk fans, don't forget, throughout the season, you can join Coach Bluter and myself for Hawk Talk, presented by Oaknall this year at the Hyatt Regency in Coralville. Hawk Talk with Coach Bluter will take place weekly from 6 until 7. Please visit HawkeyeSports.com to take a look at the full schedule. The first show is Monday, November 20th, a week from tomorrow. We certainly welcome all fans to attend. 3.46 left to go in the ballgame. Iowa, 87. Northern Iowa, 46. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Our mission at Oaknall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye women's basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Three and 46. Left to go in the ballgame. Iowa 87, the Panthers 46, and... Take a look at uh, Drake and Iowa State, the other uh, in-state game in women's basketball today. In the fourth quarter, 150 left to go. Drake 78, Iowa State 71. I wouldn't mind being at that game, seeing how that, see, watching that last minute and a half.
So at the free throw line. It'll be the Hawkeyes, Sydney of Falter. Free throw off the right side of the rim, no good. Second one, got it. Sydney with five. Hawkeyes at the free throw line tonight, 18 of 25. Panthers, 18 of 30. Gives you an indication of how many fouls mm -hmm. and free throws <laughs> have been shot this afternoon in Cedar Falls. 88 46, 330 left to go. Here's Wettering right wing. Brings it to the top of the key. Feeds left side to Robinson back in the game. Keeps that dribble going. And a whistle as she was at the free throw line. I had to make a move against Taylor McCabe. That'll be three on the Hawkeye sophomore. Ball possession for you and I. The ball batted up in the air by Kylie Fierbach, but gathered by Wright. And then she tried to get it to Ellie Foster. Richard sophomore guard out of Dyke, Iowa. And the ball goes into the backcourt. That's an over and back violation. Panthers and the Hawkeyes. Some new faces out on the floor. Jada Jimphy has come into the game for Iowa. As we approach three minutes left to go, and she loses the ball, but right there is Molly Davis on the right wing. Molly brings it to the top of the key. Now Jimphy on the right wing. Gets to the elbow. Out of Fearbach. Thought about a three. Uses a Jimphy screen. And then drops a ball into O'Grady, back outside to Davis with three to shoot. Her runner from the free throw line is good, Molly Davis. Love that pull-up jumper. That looks good on her. <laughs> on the move, Robinson hits it back. Long range shot by Foster, no. Rebound, put back, is good by Riley Wright. She's had a really nice game. She has, she's a, she's a scrapper. Hawks tried to get the ball in deep to Addie O'Grady. And the pass too far toward the baseline and out of bounds. Over to UNI 90-48. Kenise Johnson, true freshman, into the ball game. Robinson across the timeline. Running the point guard for UNI. Now Hatilla drops it inside to Wettering. She's trapped along the baseline, gets it to Wright, who scores in the paint and is fouled. McCabe picks up her fourth. Free throw no good. And the rebound to Taylor McCabe. Wright just averaged 1.9 points a game last year. And the Hawkeyes turn it over along the baseline on top 90 to 50. She's having a great night tonight with 11.7 rebounds. And again, for, for a good chunk of the day, uh, had that Caitlin Clark assignment. Yeah, played very good defense. And she has the ball at the top of the key. And uh, moving through, Molly Davis is going to be called for a foul. That's two on Davis. So Iowa scored 94 against DePaul in the exhibition at Kinnick. 122 against Clark. Free throw good by Wright. 102 against FDU and 80 against Virginia Tech. So that's the low point total of the year, <laughs> yeah. 80. Second free throw, no good. Put back, didn't go. Jim Fee the rebound. 90-51, 140 left to go. As the fans start to head for the exits. Pass inside to O'Grady, and it's taken away by Riley Wright. 
Nobody told her it's almost a 40-point game. Wright drives in, left-handed layup no good, and she saves it from going out of bounds after it was also touched by a teammate. That was Foster. Katie Ryerson comes in for the first time for you and I, a 6'2 freshman out of State Center. Davis across the timeline, 90-51. Johnson, Jimphy, lob pass inside to O'Grady. Weak side help comes over, and a push will be called on Bree Robinson. That was a solid look for, by Jada Jimphy. He's going to get Addie O'Grady to the line. So Rachel Hatilla will foul out. That's her fifth foul. Two points. Shatia Wettering comes back for Northern Iowa. She'll have an inside rebounding position along with Ryerson. O'Grady at the line. First one, got it. Eddie O'Grady with five. O'Grady eyes the hoop. Perfect foul through, knocks it down. Six for Eddie O'Grady. 91 to 51. 105 left to go. Wettering left wing. Brings it to the top of the key area. Whips a pass into the corner. That's Robinson. Robinson now tries to make a move in the paint. Turns, loses control of the ball, and it's dug up by Jada Jimphy. Gets it ahead to Taylor McCabe. We're under a minute. Here's Johnson. Drives all the way to the rim. Layup a little bit strong. Put back is good for Addie O'Grady. In a game like this, you know, sometimes the last few minutes can kind of drag on. So it's nice to see the Hawks continuing to push. And and you and I. Uh, <laughs> there's Riley Wright Riley drives Wright in hard. Yeah. She's playing to the last drop as well. And now the Hawks can just to hold the basketball. With 18 seconds left to go. Coach Bluter shakes hands with all the assistant coaches. <laughs> As the Hawkeyes get victory number three, 94 to 53 over the UNI Panthers. That's four in a row. Iowa over UNI in the 29th meeting. That is Iowa's 26th victory against the Panthers. In an afternoon in which Caitlin Clark became Iowa's all time leading scorer. She ended up with 23 and also had a triple-double with 11 assists and 10 rebounds. Plenty to stay tuned for the post-game show as Tiffany will head back to the locker room and talk with Coach Bluter and one of our stars of the game. Iowa Corn and Quick Star are partnering to give you a chance to win tickets to the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series matchups. Simply visit any participating Quick Star in Iowa through November 13th. Fill up with eight or more gallons of unleaded 88 and use your Quick Rewards card and you are automatically entered for a chance to win tickets. For more information and official rules, visit quicktrip.com slash sweepstakes. Get pumped to win with Iowa Corn and Quick Star. The final score from the McLeod Center in Cedar Falls. The Hawkeyes 94, the Panthers 53. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. 
Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's Green Power Leaderboard? With 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources. Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time, on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Also by United Healthcare, proud sponsors of Small Business Spotlight. Sign up your small business at hawkeyesports.com backslash UHC. Once again, here's Rob Brooks. The Hawkeyes with 40 points in the paint, led by 15 at the half, 40 to 25. But then that third quarter uh, is when the Hawkeyes really pushed this game wide open. Outscoring you and I 35 to 16, win it 94 to 53. Today's opening tip was brought to you by Farmer State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval. Minimum $50 deposit requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. It's now time for our post-game stats report brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free hy V Perks membership. We will get to that after we pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Post-game stats brought to you by hy V. Tiffany, uh, what stood out for you today? Well, obviously, Caitlin Clark is the story of the day. She had a strong You could say that every game. <laughs> every game. Every game, that is true. Um, and, and today, her stats were strong. But, of course, she wins the day by winning, taking over the all-time scoring record. But today, she, she had 24 points. Um, 10 of those points at the free throw line. 10 rebounds, 11 assists. Uh, Gabby Marshall back with us, coming out strong, 17 points, 
five of ten behind the three-point line. Anna Stolke had a strong game as well. Six of nine um, from the field goal, seven rebounds. And Kate Martin, nine points, eight rebounds. Just the gritty player and going up strong on those shots. Uh, Taylor McCabe came off the bench to shoot two for two behind the three-point line, something she was also needing. Uh, Sharon Goodman, a strong game, six points. And uh, Addie O'Grady with seven points, two rebounds. For you and I, uh, Grace Papelli, despite the fact that she spent a lot of time on the bench in foul trouble, led the way with 11 points, six rebounds. Riley Wright, that player with that grit, 14.7 rebounds. And Taryn Wharton had a great game, nine points, four rebounds and out as well. I would totally crush you and I on the boards. 53 to 31 uh, and just dominated in that front. Iowa also had 22 assists to you and I's four. Um, as you mentioned, Rob points in the paint. Uh, Iowa had 40 points in the paint. You and I rounded out with four. Um, and yeah, I think, I think Iowa obviously was in control the entire game, but it was that third quarter where the Hawks shot 66% from the field goal line and 85%, six of seven behind the three-point line that really sort of sealed the deal for the Hawks. Another nice thing is just about everybody that got into the game uh, was able to score. Uh, Jada Jimphy uh, did not score, but played three minutes and 46 seconds. And then uh, true freshman Kanish Johnson played two minutes and 18 seconds. Uh, didn't make a nice move, but unable to score. But everybody else in the scores column today. From the free throw line, the Hawkeyes 21 out of 29, 11 out of 27 from three, 31 of 60 from the floor. For you and I, just 16 of 64 from the field, two of 19 from three point range. And they rely heavily on that aspect of their game. 19 of 33 from the free throw line. So percentages, the Hawkeyes shoot 51.7, 40% from three, that's really good yep. news, and 72.4 from the free throw line. We'll continue our post-game show from the McLeod Center in Cedar Falls, where a sold-out crowd saw the Hawkeyes move to 3-0. That's enough over you and I, 97 to 53, and potentially could be ranked number one in the country when uh, the polls come out tomorrow. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Did you know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com.
Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Hawkeyes now 3 and 0 after a uh, terrific week to start the season, 94 to 53 over the UNI Panthers. Welcome back to the post game show from Cedar Falls, joined by assistant coach Raina Harmon and Raina, you look at this game, and uh, certainly uh, you had to make free throws to win this one, but um, it just shows you uh, the resolve and the toughness of this Iowa basketball team. On top of that, uh, what other thoughts did you have? Yeah, I thought, you know, going into this game, this is what uh, some people will call a trap game, if you will, right? With, um, you know, just coming off that big Virginia Tech sure. win, and then obviously going into Kansas State and, you know, looking to get that one back based on what they did last year and just who they are, right, having their post back. And so, you know, you, you can run into a team that may overlook this game, right? But fortunately for us, you and I have always scheduled or it's always circled on our schedule, right? Um, especially in in-state school. And so, I mean, they're playing good. They're picked to win, you know, their division. So um, it was like coming into this game, we don't overlook anybody. You know, we come out, we set the tone, and we show the world who we are, no matter who our opponent is. And I thought our players came out, and they did just that tonight. Yeah, really set the tone. And um, impressive at the start, too, in uh, getting to the basket, kind of setting the tone. 15-point game at the half. And then you know, what really went right in that, uh, that third quarter to really explode? Yeah, we hit some threes. <laughs> Hawks back, everybody. There we go. <laughs> right? And so, you know, we weren't hitting threes, really, in that first half. And so it was like, well, they're calling fouls. You know, uh, Hawks of the old would have just kept shooting threes, kept shooting threes. But I thought we did a great job of getting some old boards and trying to drive to the basket to get to the free throw line, which really helped us out there in that first half. And great to see uh, Gabby Marshall. We know what a terrific shooter she is, uh, showed us you know, what she can do, especially in the NCAA tournament, the Big Ten tournament last year. But uh, didn't score the first two games. It didn't shoot a whole lot, but really um, knocked down some open looks uh, today. And, uh, boy, just looked really good. Yeah, Gabby's always going to stay the course, right? And she's defensive-minded first. She's always going to have the toughest matchup. And so this week, her and I had a conversation. And I'm like, hey, how do you feel about, you know, you're not scoring? Let's just talk about it, right? We're not going to just dodge it. And she says, well, I don't care how many points I score. I'm getting good shots. I just want one to go in. And I said, well, go get a layup, right? And then she smokes her first layup, <laughs> gets an offensive rebound, and then puts it in. So she was kind of upset with herself. But I think just having a little bit of confidence once you get to see that first basket goes in, and then the, it became an ocean for her, right? So I'm, I'm proud of her for stepping up in the way that she did. And even not allowing it to affect her game when she wasn't, right? You think about last game, she played 37 minutes with no points. You know, that's a testament to who she is as a player and also our belief in her as a staff you know we have people that are capable of scoring just be a star in your role winning basketball right that's, that's, exactly that's right. what you have to do and um was there ever a doubt that uh, Caitlin Clark wasn't going to get 16 points today? Oh, you know she was going to have to do it. I want to give a shout-out to Megan Gustafson, who's been yep, fast. Absolutely. About it. Um, but, I mean, Caitlin Clark, right, she, she's the draw, right? I mean, you look around and, and home and away environments, and uh, the way she's playing right now, the way she's hitting threes, coming off screens, get doling out assists, you know, quadruple double if you talk about how many fouls she drew today, right? Mm -hmm. Drew 11 fouls. And so, um, I mean, she's, she's – I keep saying this because it's – Sometimes you can't find the words. She's got it. Whatever it is, she has it, right? And she allows everybody else to shine in their role as well, right? She's going to find the three-point shooters. She's going to find our post on the block. You know, she's going to play a little bit of defense and get the rebounds. Too. Yep, uh, well said. And uh, you, you think about this too, Raina. Caitlin Clark and Megan Gustafson, number one and two on your uh, career scoring list. I mean, what a, what a representation. Uh, inside, outside game, uh, players of the year. I mean, you name it, too. Two women that we certainly, everybody around the country knows who they are. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's been fun just being able to coach those two and watch them grow in their roles. I mean, like, Hawk fans are in for such a treat these last, you know, four or five, well, five, six years, um, being able to have national player of the years and people that can score as much as they can. But, you know, when you think about how they're able to do that, it's because of Lisa Bluter, right? And how she's able to adjust to the talent that she has and how she's able to recruit the talent around her. And they just missed one another, right? Just missed each other. Just missed each other. <laughs> Could you imagine? We, we were we were team? talking about that. Maybe in the How future, about that? You huh? never know. Yeah, somewhere, someplace, right? That's right. Well, let's uh, just talk about this week. I mean, the season, regular season, just started yeah. on Monday. It's been a been a long week. Uh, got that home opener, and then uh, had that huge victory on Thursday. Top ten opponent. Uh, get your first true road test against an in-state rival today. Boy, it just at least 
from the win column, you couldn't really script it any better. No, I mean, it's great. We've played in a lot of different environments, right? We started in Europe. <laughs> then we play against the element in Kinnick, right? And then you got sold out crowds here, neutral courts here, you know, on road games. Um, and so for us, it's just talking about who we want to be, you know, and the standards been raised a little bit, right? Based on what we were to accomplish last year. And just because we lost two players doesn't mean that everybody else can't rise to their occasion and their best, their best basketball. And I think, you know, we're playing some really good basketball right now. You think about how deep we are this year too, right? I mean, today we had 10 players playing more than 10 minutes, which I'm not sure the last time something like that happened. I mean, considerable minutes, not just fourth quarter minutes, right? You get a kid like Taylor McCabe, who didn't play last game, comes in and she's as confident as ever to knock down threes, right? You get Jada getting rebounds. All three post players are just starring in their role. And so we're super deep. Um, practice is super competitive, and I think that's what you want, you know. And, and they really listen to the game plan. They buy in, and they play for one another. Yeah, no doubt about that. Raina, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Get a little rest tonight, will you? Ah, I will. <laughs> Assistant coach Raina Harmon here on the postgame show as we talk about Iowa's victory over you and I at 94 to 57. Hawkeyes uh, will be back on the court Thursday against Kansas State. That's a 7.30 tip. Iowa and the Wildcats, and as uh, Coach Harmon mentioned, uh, maybe a little payback from what happened in Manhattan last year. The Hawks 3-0 after the first week of the season. 94-53, back with more on the postgame show from the McLeod Center. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Escape to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. Welcome back courtside. McLeod Center, Cedar Falls, Iowa all over UNI 94 to 53. 3-0 to start the season. And we talked about uh, Drake uh, defeating Iowa State this afternoon. Well, LSU got beat right out of the gate and today number two UConn goes down to NC State the Wolfpack 92 UConn 81 Tiffany the Hawks are going to be number one tomorrow 
Yeah, I, I think um, it's not a surprise and it's it's well deserved. But uh, you and I were just talking during the break. We're trying to figure out if there was a last time that the Hawkeyes were number one during Maybe, the regular season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll find out soon enough. And the key <laughs> thing is this year. It uh, is going to happen uh, tomorrow after what Iowa has accomplished this week. Let's head to the locker room here inside the McLeod Center. We are in the locker room here with Coach Bluter. Coach, congratulations on a, a great victory today. The team always seemed in control, and uh, it seemed like really strong shooting in the third quarter. 66% uh, from the field, 85% behind the three point line really sealed the deal but there was balance scoring and rebounding across the board what were some of your biggest highlights or game changers that you saw today yeah I um I thought we defended really well I mean we controlled every single quarter out there and uh you know our shots were weren't falling the first half in the second half they completely changed Gabby Marshall love to see that she was five for ten from three Taylor McCabe had two three she was two for two we rebounded extremely well, and we just had so many weapons we could go at their centers with, whether it was Hannah, Sharon, Addie. We just were able to keep going at them. But we have to talk about Caitlin. Became the leading scorer in Iowa women's basketball history tonight and did it in only 103 games and does it with a triple-double. Exactly. <laughs> I, my next question for you was, how lucky are we mm. to be witnessing this greatness? How lucky are you to have such a sequence of players? Megan Gustafson, yeah. followed Allie. by Caitlin Clark, Allie Diesterhoff. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about that, what that means to the program. Yeah, I mean, we've had so many great players come through our program for years and years and years. Um, but definitely, you know, we have had some unbelievable scores the last few years. You know, Megan took it from Allie, then Caitlin took it from Megan. Um, I'm sure we'll get a text from Megan tonight uh, congratulating Caitlin on this award. Great. Congratulations again, Coach Bluter, and good luck in the next round. Thanks, Tiff. Tiffany, thank you very much. And, of course, uh, Coach Bluter uh, approaching 500 wins as the Hawkeye coach in her 24th season. She's now at 497. 497 with this uh, victory over the Northern Iowa Panthers, uh, her alma mater, where she uh, played basketball. So now Lisa Bluter is 497 and 249 as the head coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Well, as she mentioned, uh, the star of the show once again tonight with a triple-double, Caitlin Clark with 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists, and just three turnovers. So now just has four official turnovers in three games. So that's uh, as impressive as, as anything you want to look at. 10 out of 12 from the free throw line. 6 of 13 from the floor, knocked down a couple of threes, five attempts. Tiffany has CC. All right, I am here with Iowa's brand new all-time <laughs> leading scorer, Caitlin Clark. Mm -hmm. Caitlin, congratulations, and first of all, I have to ask you this. Do you know when you're out on the court, did you know that you were about to break it? I honestly, well, I knew going into the game I was going to, but it kind of just slipped my mind. I okay. don't even know when it happened. Was it 16 points I needed or something you like that? You needed 16, Okay, yep. yeah, so it must have been on a layup, an and one? It was. And one, okay, yeah. <laughs> I, no, I honestly wasn't aware. That's not what went through my head. I was mad because the play before the ball went out of bounds so I was like I'm gonna go get a bucket and then I got the and one but, yeah um, super cool and Megan Gustafson reached out to me last night and just was really complimentary and supportive of me and I think more than anything that just speaks to our culture we have here is coach Bluter creates really great players um, and you know records are meant to be broken so I so I hope somebody comes after me and breaks mine too <laughs> I think that'll be a tough one <laughs> but uh, it's it's a lofty goal one last question I have to ask I know you and Kate Martin are buds off the court <laughs> yeah how much do you love Pat to her love, and getting her those layups. Yeah, I love Kate's my girl, and I begged her to come back for her sixth year. Or yeah, sixth year. Jeez, Kate's old. <laughs> um, but no, I think one thing about Kate is she has really great basketball IQ, and I think it was the same thing with me and Monica. It's like we kind of have that telepathy. We can read each other's eyes. Um, you know, I don't have to say something for Kate to know what I'm thinking, and uh, she finishes really well around the rim. So she's just a hard-nosed player and uh, one of the best leaders I've been around. So I love getting to play with Kate, and she's one of my best friends. Great, Caitlin. Congratulations. We're also proud Thank of you. you. Appreciate it. Caitlin Clark, Iowa's all-time leading scorer, and as Coach Bluter said, just did it uh, 
He's just playing in over 100 games as a Hawkeye. 24, 10 boards, and uh, 11 assists, and just three turnovers, and uh, drew 11 fouls. Because I talked to uh, Raina Harmon on the postgame show and said, well, that's a quadruple double. She actually <laughs> drew 11 fouls and got to the free throw line uh, 12 times. Thanks to Caitlin Clark and Coach Bluter talking to us from the Iowa Hawkeye locker room after the Hawks defeat the Panthers 94-53. to Back with more from Cedar Falls after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen. 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. Your kids will call it totally lit. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals, so see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Hawkeyes on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Hawkeye Pride, powered locally. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Ninety-four fifty-three. Hawkeyes led by 15 at intermission and then um, really took care of business in the third quarter, outscoring you and I 35 to 16 and uh, cruised along in the fourth. Everybody that was able to play. Uh, got into the game. A.J. Ediger still out with that uh, foot injury, but I, I saw her today and does not have that boot on, which she has had uh, the bulk of the week. So maybe she's uh, getting closer to uh, getting back with the Hawkeyes. Now it's time to take a listen to some of today's top plays from Cedar Falls. 14 to 5 in favor of the Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball. Cross court pass, Gabby Marshall for three. Count it. Yeah. Across the timeline, feeds left side. Here's Fierbach. Bounce pass to Addie O'Grady now into the game at the elbow. And then dishes right side to Caitlin Clark, who lays it up and in. Clark, free throw, perfect. Four out of five at the line. Swishes the second. <laughs> so 13 for Caitlin Clark. Ahead to Caitlin Clark. Hesitates and now drops a pass to Kate Martin. Beautiful bounce pass. Layup Kate Martin on the backdoor cut from the right wing. Yeah, Clark at the big. free throw line. Swishes the first. That's 14. To tie. Megan Gustafson, she gets it. Bounced twice on the rim, fell in. 15 for Clark. That's now 2,804 points. She has tied Megan Gustafson for the all-time scoring lead in Hawkeye history. Hey, Tilla misfires a three-point shot. Here's Clark in transition. Whips a pass left side. Marshall, three. Count it. 
Clark throws it in, gets it to Kate Martin. Caitlin comes off a screen, gets in the paint, back to the basket, wheels, deals, shot off the window, count it, and is fouled. There's the record, as she now has 2,806 points, surpassing Megan Gustafson as Iowa's all-time leading scorer. And what a representation to have Caitlin Clark one, Megan Gustafson two, and a three-point play for Caitlin Clark. Quickly down the court inside to Sharon Goodman, right block. Dumps a pass off to Caitlin Clark on the weak side. Layup, two more for Iowa's all-time leading scorer. Elf across the timeline. Caitlin gets it in the corner. Gabby Marshall for three. Yes, for Gabby Marshall. And now the Hawks can just hold the basketball. With 18 seconds left to go, Coach Bluter shakes hands with all the assistant coaches. <laughs> As the Hawkeyes get victory number three, 94 to 53 over the UNI Panthers. That's four in a row. Iowa over UNI in the 29th meeting. That is Iowa's 26th victory against the Panthers. In an afternoon in which Caitlin Clark became Iowa's all time leading scorer. She ended up with 23. And also had a triple double with 11 assists and 10 rebounds. What an afternoon. And um, it's going to be your job, Tiffany, to keep track of all the Caitlin Clark superlatives and records that we're going to <laughs> witness the rest Ooh. of the year. Because there, there's going to be more than this. On and, yeah, an Excel spreadsheet going. <laughs> Yeah, well, you got till Thursday yeah. uh, to get ready for that. As the Iowa Hawkeyes will have a few days to practice. There'll probably be a day off in there before the Kansas State Wildcats come to Carver Hawkeye Arena on Thursday night. It'll be good to be back in Iowa City. 7.30, the tip, 7.15 for the pregame show. And then Iowa will turn around a week from today and take on the Drake Bulldogs in Iowa City. Uh, that's been pushed back to a 6 o'clock start. It was uh, originally on a lot of schedules at 4, but that is a uh, 6 o'clock game. I think there's wrestling going on in the, the late morning, early afternoon. 5.45 for the pregame show, Iowa and Drake, who uh, obviously uh, going back to last year gave Iowa all they wanted at the Knapp Center, one of the, uh, the best games of the non-conference a season ago, and then uh, take care of um, Iowa State today. So... These games are always tough. That's got to be the mindset going in. But for today, no problem for the Hawkeyes over the Panthers. The final score, 94-53. to 53. For Tiffany Reedy, I'm Rob Brooks. Thanks uh, so much for listening all afternoon, whether you are on the Hawkeye Radio Network, uh, the Varsity app, or the YouTube channel, the Hawkeyes YouTube channel. We certainly appreciate you joining us, and we'll see you on Thursday, Iowa and K-State at 7.15 for the pregame show, 7.30 the tip. The final score once again, Iowa 94, you and I 53. The Hawkeyes 3-0 and will be number one in the country tomorrow. So long from the McLeod Center in Cedar Falls, this is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. This has been the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Hawkeye women's basketball has been brought to you by Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Authentic brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. hy V score big savings at hy V deals.com. And by Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.